to the Black Entrepreneur Blueprint Show. I am your host, Jay Jones. Black Entrepreneur Blueprint was created specifically to educate and inspire black entrepreneurs to launch, build, and grow successful businesses. Join us as we help build an economic power base in the black community by promoting business ownership. If you are currently an entrepreneur or want to be an entrepreneur, We invite you to join us every week here at Black Entrepreneur Blueprint. Welcome to the Black Entrepreneur Blueprint, episode number 349. I'm your host, Jay Jones, and today we have another outstanding and informative show in store for you. Today's show topic is five simple tips you can implement today to increase sales. Five simple tips you can implement today to increase sales. Now, before we get with today's show, I just want to share a few things with the BEB family. First and foremost, I want to welcome all first-time listeners to Black Entrepreneur Blueprint. Welcome to the BEB family. Please stick around until the end of today's broadcast, and I'm going to share all my social media contact information and my resource links, such as the link to my new book, A New Black Wall Street, Circulating the Black Dollar Worldwide by Building Successful E-Commerce Businesses. If you're watching this on video, it's right behind me on the shelf. Also, two platforms I've created to help circulate dollars in the black economy, BeSmartBuyBlack.com and HireBlackFreelancers.com. And also my new rebranded, rebooted Black Entrepreneur Blueprint Academy. Now, also the show is being recorded on video, so you can go to the Black Entrepreneur Blueprint YouTube channel and watch me do the show. Now, let's get ready for today's show. Five simple tips you can implement today to help increase sales. So today's episode is a great episode if you need to increase your sales or increase your revenue. So of course, all businesses are in business to make money. So that's something that we all need to look at is scaling up and increasing our sales and revenues. So tip number one is let people tell you what they want. So many times we as entrepreneurs, we create our product and or service without surveying our prospective customers. And so what we're doing is we're projecting what we want versus what the customer actually wants. Many times you're going to find out that what you think they want isn't exactly what they truly want. Now, remember, too, there's a difference between want and need. And I found this out over the long haul. You give people what they want. Because they'll take what they want versus what they need. So it's not what they need. It's not what you want. And it's not what you need. You give your customers what they want. And the way you do that is very simple. It's by surveying. And surveys can come in many forms or fashions. So, for example, you can take a survey uh, on social media. Okay? Take a survey. Do you like this or that? Whatever your, your product or service pertains to, take a survey. Uh, identify common questions that you may get from your customers and that can actually tell you what that customer wants. Uh, Once again, you can do quizzes and surveys. So if you're looking to do quizzes, I use a software called tryinteract.com. Now, make sure you guys sign up for the newsletter because every show, the new show notes are in the newsletter. The BEB Lifestyle Newsletter comes out every Monday morning and every Thursday morning. So Monday morning is going to be where all the show notes are for that episode. So this Monday, the show notes for episode 349 are going to be in there. So if you miss Monday, um, you're not going to be able to get the show notes. So make sure you sign up for the episode and the actual uh, newsletter. So number one, let people tell you what they want. So just like, for example, with the podcast. So I didn't start monetizing the podcast for close to two and a half, almost three years. And the reason being is, number one, you know, the majority of my money comes from my digital products and physical product brands. And so I kind of let the BEB family tell me, hey, what what do they want? 
So I was talking a lot about e-commerce, which I still do, which I still love that platform. And so people were like, hey, Jay, how do you do this? How do you sell on Amazon? How do you create your own e-commerce business? And so what I did was I created products to tell me or to, to serve to the BEB family what they wanted. And so a lot of times, instead of just going out there, creating a product or service, we need to really let your customer base tell you what they want. So that's number one. And today we're talking about five simple tips that you can implement today to increase your sales. Um, number two, excuse me, uh, give people multiple offers or tiered offers. Give people multiple offers or tiered, you know, structured offers. Now, you don't want to confuse people by having 16 different offers because a confused mind doesn't uh, make sales. They don't buy. Confused minds do not buy. So you want to give people multiple offers or tiered offers. And this is what I do a lot of times. Um, and this is a psychology behind it. Many times when you go and you look at different offers, they'll have maybe three tiers, a low, mid, and a high tier. Now, the way you position those tiers and the, and the, the components of those tiers are going to push people to a specific tier. So my objective is if I ever have a three-tiered uh, uh, opportunity or an option, the middle tier is normally the probably the best value. Okay, and so psychologically, most people aren't going to buy the lowest tier and most people aren't going to buy the highest tier. They're going to fall into the middle as opposed to when you go to an offer page and there's only one offer, either you take it or leave it. Right. So if people don't take it, what's the other alternative? They're going to leave it, meaning they're not going to take that offer and they're going to leave the page. So you want to give people a tiered offer. So it doesn't matter if you have a product or service. Right. So if you have a service, you can have a low service, a uh, low tier service. Then you could add another component on, which could be the mid tier service. Or you can have the high end service, which has all different components along with that offer. So the benefit to that with the tiered offer or multiple offers is that you're giving people options. They feel that they have a, a say in what they get. So as opposed to just giving them the one offer where it's either take it or leave it. You're saying, hey, I got a low tier offer, a mid tier offer and a high tier offer. And the psychology behind it is most people will take the middle tier offer. OK. And today we're talking about five simple tips that can, you can implement today to increase sales in your business. And I'm saving number five uh, for last for a specific reason, because I really want to jump in and dive in a little deeper to that. Uh, number three. Show customer testimonials as social proof. Show customer testimonials as social proof. So if you're selling your product or service, you want to make sure that you get testimonials right out the bat. And you're probably saying, Jay, well, if my product or service isn't out, how do I get testimonials? And you guys heard me talk about beta groups, right? So you create a beta group to test your products or services. And once they test it, Part of the beta group is, hey, please leave me a review. It could be a written review. It could be a video review. It could be a text message saying, hey, this product was great or whatever. But people want to see social proof. And so that's one of the biggest components that you must have on your website if you're trying to sell your products and services. So it's just like if you go to Amazon or any e-commerce uh, platform and if you're looking to buy a product or service and there are no reviews on it, um, the chances of you buying have dropped drastically versus going to the same type of site and somebody has 25, 50, 100 reviews for a product and people can actually see that that's social proof. And it's it shows the customer that, hey, I'm not an idiot buying this product because hundreds of other people have bought that product. So just think about your mindset. When it comes to buying products, be it on Amazon or any other platform, you always want to look for reviews. And like I said, guys, today's show is going to be pretty short. Um, number four, create a sense of urgency. Create a sense of urgency. And now, I'm sorry, this thing is messing up. So create a sense of urgency. 
So it could be time related urgency. It could be uh, inventory related or urgency, space related urgency or some other type of urgency. So, for example, for time related, you know, hurry now before this offer expires. Offer expires in, you know, two days. And a lot, a lot of times you'll see a countdown timer. Uh, if it's inventory related, hurry while supplies last. OK, that's an inventory related type of sense of urgency. Then there's a space related sense of urgency. So, for example, um, and this is this is true uh, sense of urgency, because many times when I do groups, I only take 10 people because I'll create a component where I have one on one coaching along with that group. And I'm not able to physically take larger groups because I, I don't have the time to say if the group was 30 or 40 people, I don't have the time to do one on ones. So you can have um, in terms of urgency. You can also have space related urgency. Hey, the first 10 people that sign up, you're good to go. All right. And once again, you need to create that urgency because most times people don't act until they have to. OK, so if it, you have a product or service, if you're doing an online course, if you're doing some type of promotion and you know that you want to up, you know, uptick those sales, creating a sense of urgency is a great way to do that. Uh, number five, sell an affiliate product on your thank you page. So many times guys, when we have a lead magnet, somebody, uh, opts in for a lead magnet and they say, you know what? Hey, this is great content. Let me opt in for this PDF checklist. Let me opt in for this cheat sheet. Let me opt in for whatever it is. Once we send the actual, uh, lead magnet, there needs to be a thank you page. And this is one page that most people really don't think twice about. So let's take a look at a real life example. Actually, let me go back and uh, for a thank you page and I'm gonna really focus on a lead magnet. So for those of you who aren't familiar with the lead magnet, a lead magnet is a piece of content that you put out there on a landing page uh, to help entice people to raise their hand. So if you're selling weight loss uh, supplements, right, you can have a lead magnet that says uh, the 10 best uh, supplements for weight loss or whatever. The 10 best products or the five best products you need for weight loss. And one of those products obviously will be your supplement. But what you're doing is you're creating a lead magnet that's going to be aligned with the type of people that you want to sell your product or service to. And they have the opportunity to download that checklist or that PDF or whatever you're, you're, you're providing as the lead magnet, then when they get that, they'll get a thank you page. Hey, thanks for registering for this lead magnet, blah, blah, blah. You know, here's the lead magnet right here. And that's where most people stop. They don't put anything else on the thank you page. That thank you page is golden, meaning there's so much room there that you can add additional things. And the reason I talked about an affiliate product, because let's go back to the title of today's show, five simple tips you can implement today to increase sales. So I'm not asking you to create another product, but let's use this as an example, the supplement, right? So you give them a lead magnet, your product is a supplement, and it could be the best five ingredients uh, in top supplements, okay? You give them the list, the PDF checklist, and then thank you, all right? Now, of course, you're gonna to try to sell your product, okay? Whatever the J. Jones uh, weight loss supplement. But in addition to that, you can also put a link in there for an affiliate product. So how about if somebody's trying to lose weight with a, sub a supplement, they probably wanna do some exercise too. So you can go to a site like ClickBank, C-L-I-C-K-B-A-N-K.com, who is an affiliate site. So you can find all type of affiliate products on ClickBank that you can market to your customers and earn a commission. So say since you're selling that supplement, you want to have an exercise routine or workout. You're not going to create it. You don't have the time. You may not have the expertise to create it, but you can find an affiliate product that may be an exercise workout video series or something that complements what you're selling. And then what you can do is you can put that affiliate link in your email. Hey, since you're interested in supplements, here's my supplement, the J. Jones supplement. And also here's a new workout program that can help complement the supplement that you're looking to take. 
Now they buy your product. And you can have this link, uh, you can have this, this affiliate link anywhere. Because once you grab that email address, then once again, they're on your database if you're smart. Remember, your database is your biggest asset of your business. So you need to be able to control being able to get in contact with customers. And we're not going to get into the difference between building your database and just selling on Amazon. Check out some of the previous episodes. So now you have an affiliate offer and that affiliate offer may pay you anywhere from 30, 40 or 50 dollars for a product that you're just referring that is aligned with something that you're selling. So what we're talking about in number five is selling affiliate product on your thank you page. Or I could also say how to utilize your thank you page to increase your sales. So don't sleep on the actual thank you page. Okay. Anytime somebody signs up for an email with you or anything, you can always include an affiliate link. Okay. And the beauty about the affiliate links are once again, product or whatever you're selling is already done. You're just getting a commission. Now, uh, let me grab some water real quick. I want to talk to you guys um, that are in affiliate marketing or thinking about affiliate marketing why this is so important to build your own database. So if you try to run ClickBank, I'm talking about ClickBank now and a lot of other affiliate sites, if you try to run a Facebook ad directly to an affiliate link on ClickBank, Facebook is probably going to block that ad because they consider it quote unquote spam because you're not sending it to a page. You're, you're actually sending it to somewhere else. Okay. You're not sending it to your landing page. So if you ever try to run Facebook ads for uh, ClickBank or affiliate products, a lot of times that's actually against terms of service and your actual account advertising account or Facebook account may get shut down. The beauty of, of selling affiliate products is if you have the email database of people that have an interest because they went to your landing page and they saw your lead magnet. And so now you put them in that database. And now that database is a thousand, 2000, 5,000 people or whatever. Now you can send the affiliate links directly to the prospective customers. Number one, they already had downloaded your, your PDF or your checklist or your lead magnet. So you know that they have an interest in the product that you're selling, product or service. Number two, now you own that, that relationship because you have the email. You're not going on Facebook trying to collect people to try to funnel them over to an affiliate. Once again, it's against terms of service. And trust me, you will get shut down or that ad will not get approved. Okay, so now this is why it's so important to build the database, because if you have affiliate offers, which you can find affiliate offers for anything, you can make easy money just by sending people a link. Right. So if you have a database and it's on based on a particular subject or topic, so say you're into yoga or veganism or whatever, and you built a database on that for your business, say you're selling yoga mats, right? And you have a list of prospective customers that have uh, responded to a lead magnet about what to look for in the best yoga mat. Okay. The thickness, the size, the material, whatever. Okay. You send them a checklist out, bam. So number one, you know, they're interested in yoga, right? You want to sell them your yoga mat, of course. And so you're going to be sending them promotions on that, but you can also send them affiliate promotions about maybe some other yoga type products or services that you can get from clickbank.com. Now I'm just talking about ClickBank. There's tons of affiliate programs out there and some of the actual affiliate programs, you can actually go directly to the companies and they'll have an affiliate link. ClickBank is, is basically a, a platform that administers and hosts tons of affiliate products. Now, as I mentioned earlier in the show, um, if you want the notes to this, if you're driving in the car, you're working out, you're running and you can't write this stuff down, just make sure you go and you register for the BEB Lifestyle Newsletter. It comes out every Monday and Thursday and the show notes will be in there for the latest episode. Okay, so make sure you just go to the website, BEB Connect, and you'll see on the side, BEB Lifestyle Newsletter and comes out every Monday and Thursday. So I just want to get you guys to understand 
that your thank you page is valuable, very valuable. And the monetization that you leave, the money that you leave on the, on the table by not using that thank you page is crazy. All we think about, hey, thank you very much. We're so happy that they bought our product or service or downloaded our lead magnet or whatever. We're cool. But no, that's real estate that you need to utilize for either upsells, additional products, affiliate sales, or whatever. Hey, thank you very much. You know, you've showed an interest in this. This may be of interest to you also. So we want to talk about, like I said, the five simple tips that you can implement today to increase your sales. And I'm just going to review these real quick. Uh, but before we do so, I just want to share all the uh, information about my social media contact information in my resource links. And then we're going to go to the last quarter of the show. So, so as I mentioned at the top of the show, my new book is out, A New Black Wall Street, Circulating the Black Dollar Worldwide by Building Successful E-Commerce Businesses. Now, if you're interested in building a successful, sustainable e-commerce business, go to anewblackwallstreet.com. Pick yourself up a copy, $14.95 for the print version, $9.95 for the digital version. If you need additional assistance, building your successful, sustainable e-commerce business. My flagship program, Brand Builder Academy Elite, is out. This is the pound for pound best individual program that I have. It takes you from point A to point Z to build a successful brand in terms of a physical products brand or a digital products brand. 14-week implementation program that takes you by your hand and helps you build a successful brand. Now, you can go to bbaelite.com, bbaelite.com, use the coupon code bbaelite100, and you can actually save $100 off of that program. Also, I mentioned at the top of the show, my two uh, platforms to help circulate dollars in the worldwide black community. The first one is besmartbyblack.com. So if you're a black product producer and you want to sell your product to black consumers worldwide, Upload your product information to BeSmartByBlack.com. It is free. Now, for all you freelancers, if you do anything on Fiverr.com or Freelancer.com, make sure you go to HireBlackFreelancers.com. Upload your information. Once again, it is free. And you can connect with black consumers and black businesses that want to hire black freelancers. I also mentioned at the top of the show, family, my new rebranded, rebooted, Black Entrepreneur Blueprint Academy. All of my programs and trainings are behind the academy. So you can go to bebacademy.com. That's bebacademy.com. And the great thing about the academy is you have five days free access to everything inside the academy. So it's a try before you buy policy. You have absolutely nothing to lose. Go in, take a couple of the courses or the trainings. And we continue to update those and add new programs and courses and trainings each and every month. So that's the Black Entrepreneur Blueprint Academy. Now, all of that is a mouthful. You can go to bebconnect.com, bebconnect.com, and all that information will be on there as well. Now, in terms of my social media, if it's anything long, family, hit me on my email, jjones at blackentrepreneurblueprint.com. Every time I say Jay Jones, it's spelled out. J-A-Y-J-O-N-E-S. Jay Jones at BlackEntrepreneurBlueprint.com. Facebook, Black Entrepreneur Blueprint. Twitter, Jay Jones 001. Instagram, Jay Jones for real. That's J-A-Y-J-O-N-E-S, the number four, R-E-A-L. YouTube, just go to YouTube and subscribe to Black Entrepreneur Blueprint. Type that in and hit the subscribe button. I have additional content on YouTube that is not on the show. Yes, the show does come out on YouTube every Monday morning at 5 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, just like it comes out on all the podcast platforms at that time. LinkedIn, connect with me, Jay Jones, Black Entrepreneur Blueprint. And if you're on Clubhouse, link up with me on Clubhouse. Follow me at at I am Jay Jones, at I am Jay Jones on Clubhouse. All right, so let's recap real quick. Let me grab a drink of water. And we'll finish this thing up. And once again, family, today we're talking about five simple tips that you can implement today, not tomorrow, not the next day, that can help you increase your sales. Number one is, you know, let people tell you what they want. 
Let them tell you. You don't tell them. You ask them, what do you want? Not what do you need? Because many times people don't even, they're not even going to take what they need. People are going to, by human nature, most times people are going to do what they want versus what they need. Okay, so you got to tap into that psychology. Let people tell you what they want and then you deliver what they want. So if you're solving a problem, that's a very simple equation. Okay, so problem, solution, result. I talk about it all the time. That's a simple way to make money, but let people tell you what they want. Not what you want, not what you think they need, what they want. Number two, give people multiple offers or tiered pricing. Multiple offers or tiered pricing. Don't give them too many offers because once again, a confused mind doesn't make a decision. So when I say tiered offers, it could be a low level, mid level and high level offer and the psychology around it guys. And it's been proven that most people will take the middle offer. So if your main offer is your middle offer, I mean, if your main offer is this, make that your middle offer, add on additional stuff to, you know, for a high level or high end offer and then you take away stuff for the low end offer. So a low tier, mid tier, and high tier offer. Now, the reason being is that gives people a level of control where they're saying, hey, I don't want that one or that one, but I do want that one in the middle. Versus if you only give them one offer, then the options are this. Either, yes, I'm going to take this or I'm going to leave. So give people multiple tiered offers but no more, no more than three, okay? No more than three. Three is the max, okay? Uh, number three, show customers testimonials or social proof. So this is big. Social proof is big. You go on Amazon, you're looking at the reviews. You're looking at the four and five star product reviews probably, okay? So you want to have those type of reviews or social proof on your site. So it could be in the form of a video, testimonials case studies uh it could be a, a screenshot of a text somebody or a customer sent you that was happy and satisfied with your product or service people want social proof to know that other people have already purchased your product or service so don't sleep on that number four create a sense of urgency and that can be done in multiple ways once again it could be time urgency this 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 uh, offer is going to end in 24 hours it could be space urgency i only have eight seats available for this program uh, could be inventory issues or, or, you know, inventory urgency, you know, while supplies last, you hear that all the time, this great offer, take advantage while supplies last, meaning as long as this inventory or this product is, is in the warehouse is good for you. Uh, number five, sell an affiliate product on your thank you page, or I'm going to retitle that basically utilize your thank you page to sell or upsell an affiliate product or something else. Utilize that that's thank you page. Anytime somebody corresponds with you, okay? And we're gonna do a show strictly on email. Uh, I've been working on this for a while, strictly on email and how you can use emails, but definitely use the thank you page. Don't just say, hey, thank you very much. You know, appreciate you purchasing or whatever, downloading this product or service or whatever. Always use the thank you page. And once again, with today's subject title, five simple tips you can implement today, affiliate links on that thank you page is a no brainer. So make sure that affiliate link is aligned with whatever product or service that you're selling. So it's all aligned. You don't want to have an affiliate link for a product that has nothing to do with what you're talking about or what you're selling. So if you're selling weight loss, you don't want to have an affiliate link to something that, you know, uh, interior design or something like that. And on ClickBank, now I'm just using them, you know, I use ClickBank, but there's other platforms out there for affiliate links. Um, there's, I mean, you'd be surprised at how many types of products in the different industries of products are available. So here's what you want to do when you go into ClickBank. Now that you're not just going to be able to search, you're going to have to create an account to go in, which is free. So create an account. And then when you click on marketplace and it'll have a blank line, it'll, you know, looking for, um, you know, it'll ask you what type of uh, industry or product you're looking for. Do not fill that blank line out. Just click the search button. And what will happen is it will actually show you the most popular 
and successful products in order. So don't put in anything up top if you want to see what type of products are selling the best or what type of affiliate links are doing the best. And it'll give you the amount of money they pay on commission and you can click the links and it'll tell you everything about the product and you can actually go through the funnels that they've created. So don't sleep on the thank you page. So number five, sell an affiliate product on your thank you page. So today's show, family, I told you is going to be a little bit shorter than normal. Uh, if you want to check me out on video, I'm actually doing this uh, on video. So you're going to hear the podcast on the podcast platforms, or you can go to YouTube and check this out. Uh, I say this each and every week. And, um, you know, it, it's all about the truth, guys. Um, uh, we get more and more downloads because of you, the BEB family. I appreciate you guys. Please continue to spread the word about the podcast and the blog. Once again, it's about a movement. It's about building an economic power base in the black community. It's about utilizing our resources, funneling our resources, supporting our brothers and sisters that are out there in the struggle. So once again, we have to start building and supporting black owned businesses. Be intentional with your dollars, weaponize your dollars, not necessarily as an offensive weapon, but weapons are used defensively also to protect yourself. Protect yourself, protect your family members, protect your community community by buying and supporting, uh, building and supporting black owned businesses and make sure guys be intentional with your money. You know, I know a lot of times we go through our day and we don't really pay attention to where we're spending our money. We'll go to the gas station, spend a couple bucks here. We'll go to the supermarket here. And, and probably 90% of the time, those aren't black owned establishments. So with the world at our fingertips now, with the cell phones and, you know, being able to shop online, be intentional with your dollars. Love you guys. See you same time next week. Peace.